Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Today we are going to look at how we can install Kaspersky Security Center version 13.0.0.11247. I have downloaded the full version of it, which is somewhere around 400. 52 MB and also we are going to look at how to install SQL Express 2019 uh, along with it which I have already downloaded again and there is a caveat during this installation that's why uh, I would like you to pay attention on this one thing which you need to understand Kaspersky Security Center no more provide you SQL pre-built within the package so you have to do first SQL installation and then you would need to go for the installation of Kaspersky Security Center so that is the reason I am going to record this video which will be little longer than a usual video tutorials because we are going to run the SQL installation also so of course to begin with I definitely need to run this setup over here I am going to extract it first And one more thing, I'm going to put the URLs to download both of them in the description. So you can check, check the link in description how you can download these both things. So as we are here, we are going to click on new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to existing. So I'm going to click on this one. I accept the license terms and privacy statement of course if I would like to check for updates I can click on this for me I'm going to click on next because it's not something important to check for you can do it later right so you also need to take care of Windows firewall because normally Windows firewall will create issues if you are connecting it to remote uh, you are connecting SQL server remotely in my case it is on the same server I don't need to worry about it but if you want you can look at the warning message and you can follow the instruction for firewall thing now I'm going forward I'll click on next of course I need to select which components I would like to install I'll keep it default as it is if I want to change the directory to some different path I can change it now and then I can click on next here I can use the default instance name or I can change the instance so if you would like to name it like for example Kaspersky or anything you can do it for me I'm going with the default instance name once you will change instance name ID will also become the same as instance name over here automatically here if you would like to change the services status maybe if you would like to change the user account names you can change it here normally if you are required to change a collision you can do it from here but we are not going to change anything over here and we are going to go and click next over here on this page it will request us to uh, provide the authentication mode I normally keep mix mode so my Windows authentication and SA authentication both works so I'm going to put my credentials over here for SA account Okay. If I would like to add any additional user to be administrators, uh, I can add it, add it up from here. And uh, if I would like to change the data directories, I can do it from here. Of course, I can change the temp directory uh, details. 
uh, if I would like to restrict the memory, I can do it over here, or maybe I can do it later from my admin studio. By the way, I have installed my admin studio beforehand. Uh, user interface, user instances, file stream, I'm not going to change anything over here, by the way. Just for your understanding, I explained that you have capability to change uh, your data directories and stuff like that. Click on next over here. And you see installation pro progress has started. So you will be able to see installation progress. It will take some time to complete this installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video recording over here and I'll resume once this is going to get complete or it is completed. But after that, you do not need to worry about it is straightforward. It is doing everything at its own. If you have any prerequisites or anything missing, it will prompt you before even reaching to this place. By the way, one more thing, you need management studio also because SQL 2019 along with Kaspersky has something which would make some conflicts. So we need to run some small configuration after installing Kaspersky on Kaspersky database. I'm not going to cover that part in this video, but of course I'm going to create another video tutorial because I have to explain certain more things with that video. So I'm going to create another tutorial for that. But just to let you know, I'm, I'm going to show you what needs to be performed after your Kaspersky installation is done. Otherwise it will create an issue with your Kaspersky Security Center console and web console. It will keep hanging. So uh, over, uh, over um, SQL Server 2019 setup is about to get complete. And you see now it is successfully completed. We are going to close this. And just to show you, as I said earlier, I have uh, Management Studio already installed if you want. Um, you can watch my other tutorial where I have shown how to install Kaspers, uh, how to install SQL Server along with Management Studio. Uh, I'll definitely try to put the URLs in the description for Management Studio download. It's straightforward, just you need to follow the vision and Management Studio will get installed. Of course, it's a lengthy process. I do not want to cover it in this tutorial because it will make it extra long. Um, just to show you, if I run Management Studio over here, I'll be able to connect to my database now. And you see my Express Edition is there. If I have used Mixed Mode, I have capability to use SA account over here to log in. But I'm going for Windows authentication for now. I'm going to connect and you see I have connected to it and there is no database currently available in this. I'm going to close this now and I'm going to run Kaspersky Security Center over here. I'm going to click on install Kaspersky Security Center 13. And we'll just follow the visit. I click next over here. If .NET Framework is not installed, it will definitely install that. But in my case, it is already installed. And I'm going to click on next over here. I'll accept the agreement and privacy policy. Click next. I can go with standard, but for your um, demonstration purpose, I'm going to click on custom where I'll be able to choose what components I would like to install. If I would like to change the directory of Kaspersky Security Center installation path, uh, if I would like to only install web-based console, or if I would like to only install, for example, MMC, or I would like to install both, I can do it. Here, I'll be able to choose approximate number of devices that you intend to manage. Based on these numbers, certain options will be shown or uh, will be hidden. I'm going to click next. I'm going to use SQL Server Express, which we have just installed. Now over here, I can browse for it, or I can just mention my instance name over here. So I don't need to wait for browse to search for it. I'm going to click on next. I'll keep the default database name. 
and I'm going to click next 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 over here without changing anything I'm going next and click install and of course it would take little time again it will install Kaspersky Security Center administration exchange a mobile device server iOS mobile device management plugin and Kaspersky Security Center web console As soon as we will reach to web console, it will begin another visit for us for web console installation. So you see now Kaspersky Security Center 13 web console installation visit has begun. I have capability to select different languages, but of course I'm going to go with English language. I'll click OK. Now it will start the visit for web console. Next, I confirm. Next. If I would like to change the path, of course I can do it over here, otherwise next. Here I normally prefer to keep my fully qualified domain name, but it would depend on you if you would like to put an IP or loopback IP or something. I prefer to keep my fully qualified domain name. And then test if this port is enabled or if this port is available on this server. And you can see port 8080 is available on app02.lab.local. And I'm going to click on next. You can click use default accounts so or you can specify custom accounts to run a not.js. I'm going to click next over here without changing anything. To generate certificate again, I prefer to go with fully qualified domain name. This is going to create a self-signed certificate by the way. Click next. If I have more than one Kaspersky Security Center server where I would like to connect, I need to add them over here. But I am going to click next over here just to show you. I'm going to click on edit to show you what different things are available over here. So I'm not going to change anything and I'm going to click on next and install. Of course, it would take a little time to install it. And once this is done, it will show me a message of the completion along with if I would like to run the web console or not and during my tutorial I was explaining you if you do not perform certain thing on the database after installation of Kaspersky Security Center version 13 with only it is a problem with a certain database server and that database server is 2019 SQL server your Kaspersky Security Center console is going to hang and even your web console when you are trying to log in or get into the loop of uh, getting you logged in but it will not log in and if you go to developer mode of the web browser you will see certain errors. I'm going to cover it in my next tutorial but today I'm not going to talk about it but I'm going to explain you what you need to do in order to avoid after installing Kaspersky Security Center. I'm going to click on finish. Now I don't want to run web console though if I run it it will open web console but when I'll try to log in it will throw an error. Just to show you because of this reason if I am going to run my Kaspersky Security Center after the installation just to show you it is going to hang because of a compatibility issue of SQL Server uh, along with Kaspersky Security Center and this SQL Server as I said again it is 2019 which is creating this issues and after that the problem begins over here you see now I have installed and now it says not responding and it is going to get into that loop that problem is going to occur so to avoid this what I'm going to do is I'm going to just for now close this Kaspersky console sorry I have I think closed something else uh, let me bring it up 
Okay. Now you have con I have actually forcefully end the console. I am now going to go and show you what needs to be done. So if you go into Kaspersky Security Center uh, support.kaspersky security center uh, page support.kaspersky.com and over here if you see uh, we have something called system requirements if you go over here for version which is available here now the latest version has changed and 13.1 has come if you go over here in this particular version scroll down where you can see SQL 2019 you see there are required additional actions you need to click on this and you have to see that you need to perform this in order to avoid that issue so you just need to right click on then copy go to management studio run the query and fix this issue in order to avoid your Kaspersky security center to hang I'm not going to discuss and show you this in this tutorial otherwise it will make it little longer I am going to record another tutorial where I am going to show how you can fix this issue thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about thank you and stay blessed